When unplanned disruptions occur, an offshore drilling platform can struggle with multiple weeks of non-productive time. Our team recently talked to one of these platform operators and they have engaged a leading analytics company to address this specific cost. They're slowly working to solve this problem using predictive analytics. In today's oil field, efficient operation depends on three types of predictive analytics. In this video, I'll explain each of these three types in the oil and gas context. For an explanation of the analytic system itself and how it works, you can reference how predictive maintenance works. The first type of analytics is simple analytics. And the best picture I can give you for this is predictive maintenance. Data from a vibration sensor or temperature sensor directly predicts the most common failure scenarios. Common scenarios include a worn bearing or a physical stress point of some sort. Sometimes a few data points need to work together to provide a conclusive prediction. For example, a noisy or vibration prone piece of equipment is more complex. It may only identify a failure scenario after assessing multiple data points in combination. And even with multiple data points in combination, a prediction still only requires relatively simple analytics in this case. Simple analytics consists of a simple mathematical averaging or comparison. Most equipment monitoring systems have this type of calculation and alerting available for built-in sensors in their systems. When new sensors are added to existing equipment that's already operational, a third-party system can be used to process the data and generate the required alerts. In some cases, the alerting platform can even integrate with service software to set up service tickets for scheduled maintenance activities. Examples of companies for each type of analytics that I'm going through can be seen in this video called 15 Predictive Maintenance Systems for Oil and Gas. Now let's look at the second type of analytics, process analytics. An automated process combines multiple inputs and outputs into an interdependent web of operation. This means that an alert in the system consists of multiple interdependent parts that all contribute to that outcome. With the increasing maturity of artificial intelligence, control system platforms now include advanced analysis capability. These platforms already have access to many of the intermediate data points in the process. Using this data with artificial intelligence can predict many failure scenarios. For example, a three-phase separator in an oil field may have increased pressure readings in one part of the tank. If those readings are outside normal operation, there could be multiple causes. The control system software considers multiple readings and then combines that knowledge. Using an analysis framework or artificial intelligence, the system can then identify recommended corrective actions. The third type of system of analytics is system analytics. Now let's go back to the offshore platform scenario that we started with right at the top. On an offshore platform, the dependencies reach much further than one single process. Although all the processes may interact with each other, there's also multiple other elements outside of any process that could be factors as well. For example, high winds in a certain direction could interact with a process that is within acceptable operating levels to create a failure scenario outside that process and cause an alarm. An alarm can scale down or halt operations until a root cause is identified and resolved. These interdependent system level issues can be very difficult to diagnose and predicting patterns before a failure is even more challenging. When these complex system failures represent a high enough cost, the price of a comprehensive data science platform can be justified. This type of a data science platform analyzes seemingly unrelated data points to identify a data correlation for prediction. In reality, some scenarios are just not predictable enough to avoid costly downtime. But when they are, the cost benefit is significant. 
Let's talk about some of the foundational requirements for all of these different types of analytics. All types of analytics contain important common elements. All analytics is dependent on good data sources. For failure prediction, it needs to be live data wherever possible. The live data requirement implies a solid network connection between the source of the data and the recommendation engine that does the analytics. Cisco Systems has a comprehensive capability to provide secure and hardened network infrastructure for the most difficult environments. In summary, the data that is available in today's oil and gas infrastructure often shows us clear patterns that predict failures. Sometimes these patterns are simple, single sensor data streams. At the other end of the spectrum, the pattern may be disguised in a complex relationship of variables and interactions. In either case, predictive analytics can make oil and gas operations more safe, more efficient, and more sustainable. Take care.